हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर राजेश कुमार कंसल्टेंट न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट एट नारायणा सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल एट गुवाहाटी टुडे इज ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑफ ऑक्टोबर विच इज ऑब्जर्व एज वर्ल्ड स्ट्रोक डे सो आई एम टेकिंग एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मेक एन अवेयरनेस रिगार्डिंग स्ट्रोक इंक्लूडिंग इट्स प्रिवेंशन एंड अर्ली मैनेजमेंट सो वॉट इज स्ट्रोक स्ट्रोक इज अ न्यूरोलॉजिकल डेफिसिट विच इज अकरिंग सडनली आफ्टर अ वेस्कुलर इंसल्ट इट कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स इश्चेमिक और हिमोरेजिक द इश्चेमिक स्ट्रोक कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स अराउंड एटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ टोटल स्ट्रोक एंड फिफ्टीन परसेंट इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाय अ हिमोरेजिक स्ट्रोक सो टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ इंटरेस्ट विल बी अश्चेमिक स्ट्रोक एज वी गो बाय द नंबर्स अराउंड फिफ्टीन मिलियंस ऑफ पीपल्स अफेक्टेड बाय स्ट्रोक एवरी ईयर ग्लोबली and it is the second most common cause of death in population of above 60 years of age whole worldwide so it is very important to identify a stroke and make a treatment as soon as possible so how to identify a stroke to identify a stroke we have a simple mnemonic which is b fast in which b means balance e means i f means face a means arm s means speech and t means time if any of about difficulty occurring suddenly it is a sign of stroke and we should uh, visit a hospital as soon as possible if any of about signs occurs coming on the risk factors risk factors can be divided into modifiable and non modifiable the modifiable risk factors includes hypertension diabetes heart disease abnormal cholesterol levels smoking alcohol intake or sedentary lifestyle taking oc pills by knowing this uh, modifiable risk factors we can modify this this risk factors and prevent stroke in future there are also non modifiable risk factors for stroke which includes age gender the race and the genetic factor or family history which is not preventable so i am going to speak about few lines what is stroke a stroke happens when there is a dislodgement of clot or thrombus from major arteries or heart towards the cerebral artery which indeed causes the uh, occlusion of cerebral or brain blood vessels which causes the ischemia or the deprivation of uh, blood supply to the that part of brain which indeed causes death of that part which is supplied by the artery and finally stroke happens this point is important to understand the management of stroke as we know if brain ischemia occurs it is irreversible process and we can't do anything after this ischemia has happened so there is a concept of penumbra which means a uh, reversible uh, injury of brain which can be prevented by a uh, revascularization of that artery so to do so we have a golden period of 3 to 4.5 hours if patient uh, received in the hospital within this period of time we can offer him iv thrombolysis via uh, agent known as recombinant tpa and if we offer this treatment it it is mostly beneficial for the patient and it uh, prevents some amount of disability in future once this period has been crossed we have few more option of uh, revascularization including mechanical thrombectomy up to the period of 24 hours but beyond 24 hour we don't have any of the intervention for the stroke and the treatment will only be the uh, management of risk factors and rehabilitation of the patient so it is very important to identify a risk risk factors for stroke identify a stroke and make early call to the hospital if stroke happens so thank you